Hello, beautiful people. Psychic Debbie, back again. Hope you're having a great day. Today, it's going to be Psychic Debbie and Stones. So, um, first of all, I got to tell you about what I'm wearing. I had a client, or I don't know if you want, I really don't like calling them clients. A good friend that I did a reading for, she made me this beautiful necklace. It's a bunch of crystal quartz and amethyst and citrine for prosperity, love, and joy. So, if you're wondering, I got this as a gift. Isn't that pretty? She did such a wonderful job. So today we're going to talk about selenite. So uh, the way I heard about it, again, is I'm going to give a story, is I was driving down, down to Arizona from uh, Montana, told again to pull over. You're going to hear a bunch of these stories of me pulling over because I feel that stones call to you. It's kind of like a pet, you know what I mean? The dog's like, you didn't pick the dog, the dog picked you. Well, I feel the same way about stones. I feel like stones are like, oh, there goes my mom. You need to turn around and come back and get me, you know, because I'm going to help you with something. And a lot of times stones do help you with things. And it's in the uh, stage and vibration where you're at in life. Okay. So I was told to pull over and this person had this rock place where you're selling all kinds of rocks, obsidian, selenite, uh, rose quartz, all kinds of beautiful stones that was in the family for a long time so i'm going to show you which one called me really <laughs> you're gonna go debbie are you crazy watch Ooh, my God. it's yes this is selenite <laughs> look at that it's just huge and i can hardly carry it hold it but feel the vibration off of it isn't this beautiful i have it right here next to my chair with my other big huge stones I just love, 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 love stones. So selenite can also come like this. See? Beautiful, flat. Best way. Oh, this is the one I got in Utah. The other one that I just showed you, the big one, I got at that um, quartzite place. Or it could also be called desert rose. See how this is? And I heard that the desert rose, I could be wrong, but I heard that desert road is made from lightning where the lightning hits the sand and it makes the, the uh, selenite like that. My son loves these. He was like, you need to do a story on these. I don't know why, but me holding these, my top, the top of my head is like zing. It probably shows with my hair flying around. <laughs> but okay, so what is selenite really good for? Okay, so the first thing is um, angelic beings to connect to your angels. It can be archangels, um, Michael, it can be spries, it can be little fairies, because it's, it has a no judgment. It's a clearing stone, too. Also, it clears your stone. So, like, I put a lot of my stones on top of it, or if you want your stones to be even ten times stronger, put it on top of a piece of the selenite. Your jewelry, you want it to, your jewelry to be cleared. You don't want to put it under the full moon. It's like, oh, I forgot the full moon again. All right, you know. You don't need to put it under water. You don't need to put salt on it or anything like that. But you can make your other stones even stronger by putting this on there or your stones, necklaces, earrings, jewelry, and it clears it. So these never need clearing. So selenite is very good with um, angels. It's very good with clarity. It's very good with psychic work. It's very good for soul travel, uh, communication. So if you're holding on to it, uh, you could do it while you're trying to do a soul travel. You can have it on, underneath your bed, on your bed, putting it on you. So like if you or say you're opening up your throat chakra, you can put it on top of, you know, a stone that works for throat. So even me doing this right now, my throat's like, ah, or the back of my head, my third eye in the back of my head is like, you know what I mean? It just, it hurts. So selenite, even, and it's cheap. It's cheap. So like this would be like a dollar. You know what I mean? Um, this big, huge one, I don't, I forgot what I paid, like maybe $50 or something, <laughs> but, um, it helps you clear and it helps charge other stones. It's usually found in uh, like Australia, Brazil. It can be found in the U S you know, like the sandstone, the gypsum, gypsum. I think I'm saying it right. So, you know, these, uh, stones can be found there. Um, it's a love stone. It helps you connect with, because it's communication, honey. It's getting you to another dimension and a higher frequency. So it will help you it, with relationships. So it could help you bring your spirit, what people say, 
your spirit or spirit guide communicate with, say you're having a fight with your husband or girlfriend or whatever, and you're like, I'm going to connect to my spirit guide with this so that that spirit guide can talk to their spirit guide and let's figure this out, okay? It also can help you uh, communicate to the other, other realms, but if you're asking for something to come to you, so um, you're communicating to the other realm, I need prosperity. Show me how I can do prosperity or bring prosperity to me or bring love to me or bringing insight or knowing. It's a truth. It's a truth serum. It will show you the truth. So that's the thing where some people get afraid. It's not evil. There is no negativity. It will show you the truth of things. So it's like, okay, how's me and my boyfriend getting along? And it's like telling you, he's, he's a jerk. He's having affairs on you. And you're going, yeah, but he's cute, and my friends like him, and da 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 And you're meditating with the stone, and it's going, no, he's a jerk. Let him go. You know what I mean? He doesn't have that great personality. You're paying for everything. So some people don't like it that way because it's so truthful. And that's why it, it, it makes things ten times stronger. You know what I mean? So that's why I was saying here um, – it's making this uh, kinite even stronger. So my third eye is like going, wah, 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 wah. it's just, it's just going crazy. So it's also uh, the stone. I don't know if anybody knows the, the cave that I'm talking about, but remember they, it was down in Mexico, I believe, where they had those, um, that mine and they had to drain a bunch of water. And then there was these big columns, you know, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of, feet long, these uh, crystals, well, it was selenite. It was selenite in there, and it was so strong and so powerful that they had to wear fire suits in there, and they could only be in there for 10 minutes because otherwise you get melted. That's how powerful these these uh, stones are. So if you're trying to ground yourself or you're trying to do communication, what you can do is do a meditation of let me stand here, picture the roots of from my feet going down like cords, of my feet going down to that Brazilian cave and wrapping around those crystals that are made of selenite, okay, and bringing the power of the earth up. Instead of always just from the top down, you can bring that up, and then while you're holding the selenite. So I'm going to lift this up. It's really, really heavy. It's probably about 20 by 30 pounds, and I want you to connect with it and to say what's my truth or allow knowing to come in or I want to do mediumship or I want to be healthy, whole, and complete or um, I want a relationship to come to me. So I'm going to hold this and I'm going to be silent for like a minute if I can hold it that long because it's it's heavy, honey. It's probably, you know, I said 25 before. I think it's a lot heavier than that. I think it's about 30, 40 pounds. But oh, with my hand. So I want you to connect with this stone and and if you want to connect with um, angels, want to know your truth, open up your heart chakra, your third eye, okay? Say I'm safe to allow the selenite to give me a higher consciousness, a, high, a higher power, okay? Feel it in your third eye. Feel it in your heart. I feel it in my heart, my third eye right now. It's a beautiful healing stone. I am safe to allow. Let it heal you. Let it open up your third eye. Open up your kundalini. All your chakras are open with this. It's very, very powerful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And the reason that it's dirty is because the guys literally dug it out from the from the ground. Because people are gonna go, Debbie, that's not clear. <laughs> like this. I got a bunch of, I had sheets and sheets of this and I gave them away or sold them. I don't have that much more. I just have these now, but see how powerful they are? They're just a magnificent stone and they're not that expensive, okay? 
And sometimes they have the little candle holders of them. Sometimes they're like sheets like this or little angels are made out of them because there's a lot around. But pick some up, put your stones on it if you want to get into a higher power. If you want to do communications, put them in your bed or when you're meditating, put it in front of you. You can put it out, you know, all four corners, north, east, south, and west, or put it on north, east, south, west of your bed while you're trying to do soul traveling. They are very good at communication, connecting to the other realms. They are good at showing you the truth. So if you don't want to know the truth, honey, don't play with them. Um, play with them, you know, starting out slowly, okay? Because I don't want people, some people get so downloaded and then they get mad at me and they'll go, well, you didn't warn me. I'm warning you. Let's go one piece at a time. Go slower and slower, you know, go bigger and bigger and bigger. And like I said, if, if you are doing kinite, and it's already making you zing. Don't put it on top of a selenite. It's 10 times stronger, okay? <laughs> Let's use some, a little bit of common sense here, okay? So just go slowly. You're the one that's going to allow the power in it. I'm not. The stone isn't. What you're doing is you're trying to vibrate with the selenite, okay? You're trying to vibrate with it. And it will help you with your communications. It will help you with psychic work. It will help you with medium. It will help you with healing. It will help you connect to the earth. It's a very, very powerful stone rock gem whatever you want to call it i think it's i think it's just beautiful and like i said i have it right here next to my chair i'm going to lift it up one more time connect with it tell it thank you thank you thank you show me the truth heal me okay Go to your crystal store and buy some, and you'll be so happy you did, and put your stones on it, all right? I hope you have a great day. Hope you learned something new and you got some good, good vibes from the stone, and I'll talk to you later. Blessings and smiles. Bye-bye.